everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of It's Jenkins. This episode of It's Jenkins is brought to you by Trebuchet QS. Trebuchet QS, only killable by daisy cutters. Well, last episode we got nuked by a couple of daisy cutters, took down the trebuchet like in one like fraction of a second, it was gone. So, um, I mean, we got to get it fixed. Hopefully we didn't lose too much, all the internals are gone. Um, but we did manage to pick up a bunch of uh, bonus stuff um, on the ground when I thought we had lost it permanently. So all that was from the Efreet. We did pick up another Efreet, so now we've got a full Flyer Core. But today we're going to take in the second Lance. Let's go to the Mech Bay. I'm going to show you what I did when I re-tweaked these guys a little bit. So uh, if we go to Mech Bay... So this guy stayed the same. Savage Wolf is still the same. It's still the, the big uh, the Goss uh, build. Wasn't 100% I'm still not happy with this. I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, it's probably going to remain this way. Um, I think I put in the Silver Bullet Goss and the arm because I think we lost the, the Clan Goss rifle that was here. So And we ended up going with the Silver Bullet Goss in this arm. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully we can get some more frags um, flying towards the enemy. Um, the Avatar OD was the one that we just finished up. It's got the Artemis Fire Control System. It's the pair of MRMs. Everything stayed the same on this from the outfit. I was going to try and swap out the light PPC with the streak PPC, but it's an extra ton and a half, and I can't drop armor. There's nothing I can drop to be able to get that to work. I also thought about swapping the light PPC out with the MRM-10, but I like the idea of having an extra energy weapon in there um, just because this has, like, farther range and stuff, so I, I just st stuck with the energy weapon overall. Banner Snatch came back. Um, it wasn't much of a change on this guy. It dropped slightly I think in in overall potential um, I, I had a uh, ballistic um, uh, plus two modifier um, in here originally we lost everything in the head so I was able to replace the tag that's not a big deal uh, the sensors actually are these are better sensors than what was in there before uh, the cockpit we lost uh, and I don't have anything actually I do have something I can replace it with now after that last mission, we should have this guy. I'm going to put you in. We'll get that validated in a second. Uh, definitely want that in there. Um, I mean, not because, like, we have the advanced zoom here. It's like 540 meters. Um, but the plus 50 meter sight range is always a bonus. So uh, plus, plus one gunnery will always help. But we put a uh, fire control system advanced in here. Uh, reduces the jam chance, increases the offensive push, uh, and I put in a plus one ballistic accuracy. Now, I was going to put in just the regular head. I've got a plus one. Where is it here? Yeah, basic ballistic. Plus one accuracy, minus one to recoil, minus 20% to jam chance modifier. So the only difference between this loadout here, which what we have, minus 20 to jam chance, is the offensive push accuracy. And this is the same thing, a bonus call shot accuracy. Now, it's additional ton to do, to run it this way. Uh, but we don't need to worry about recoil because these things don't have it. There's just no recoil on these. So I don't need any recoil reduction. So I, I would rather go with the increased call shot chance because hopefully we can get a few of those in. Um, so the bonus accuracy here and um, the 4% increase in targeting location. So hopefully we can do some good damage with these two. Uh, I don't have any light ACs left, so if something happens to these, then we had to figure out a new build. And I had an LRM-5 in here before, but I swapped that out for an SRM-4. The uh, Irian version, or Irian, whatever whatever you want to call it, Irian version. Um, less chance to be shot down by AMS, but it's working with acid ammo. So it'll help increase our damage slightly, and other people's damages slightly. Um... I just figured it was a better go than than going with the LRM, which really wasn't doing much overall. Uh, the fact that this is minus 25% chance to be shot down by AMS, better chances for things to land, whereas the LRM-5, everything was pretty much just getting shot down if someone had an AMS, so it was kind of useless. And I also added a uh, Angel ECM in here as opposed to the original Guardian that we had. Um, the Angel ECM gives a uh, jams en enemy by five and reduces jamming on allies with it by four within 240 meters when it's when it's active. When it's passive, it gives me a shield of five uh, and reduces enemy's chance of jamming me by five. So as long as I'm within 240 meters, which is like a good striking distance for this guy, um, ECM shouldn't mean shit for the enemy and good luck trying to hit me. So that's hopefully that's going to work out. 
we'll see how it goes I want to get proper optics in here but we need to get those I think I picked up yeah I picked up a zoom but not optics so I don't really have anything that to to offset that now I still have a, I got an additional ballistic and we just picked up the heat so but there's not much else I could do with this guy and oh shoot shoot I'm gonna go back in and fix that we wanted to include that optics for the uh, cockpit here let's get that put back in so I don't forget rangefinder here you go all right anything anything bonus to hit in this guy is a good good deal okay right. I'll get it now uh, the other avatar this guy changed significantly we had the heavy streak PPC in a large laser and two medium or ER mediums in this guy originally and we were gradually cranking up the heat every time we would shoot so I decided to switch this up completely. Now we picked up uh, actuator enhancement for plus two arm mounted weaponry act accuracy. Now I thought about dropping this in with a heavy streak PPC to increase its chance to hit, but then I'm like, if I'm gonna do that, I might as well swap out what's in the arm and increase a whole bunch of weapons chances to hit. So I'm like, if I drop the streak PPC, which is 90 heat, which it seems to be applying every turn, whether I fire or not. I mean, the good thing about the streak PPC is you're never going to hit your own guys, right? So you could shoot into a group of people and never hit your own guys. It just won't, it doesn't lock, it doesn't fire automatically, which is great, but it still generates heat. And it was generating a plus 10 heat every turn anyway. So I swapped that out, put a large improved heavy laser in here, which is about the same range as the Streak PPC. ER large laser, which gives us the range. Snub PPC, which gives us the range. And I was able to crank in another ER medium laser into the arm, plus an MRM-10 with half a ton of ammo. Now we lost the um, the one tag, um, the uh, barrage, but we weren't, I mean, we were getting a bit of use out of it, but not much. I was able to put in a couple of more prototype double heat sinks. I swapped out the armor, put in clan armor, just because so, I had the extra weight. Uh, and with the exchanger and stuff in here and the optics, this guy should be able to sit back at a distance and just like pummel people. Uh, with the bonus accuracy for the arm and the minus recoil. Uh, I should get no recoil from the snub. And these lasers don't, don't have any recoil. Minus 3% weapon heat. So, I mean, it's a pretty damn good build. Uh, we're overheat by 8. Which means turning a medium laser on and off every couple turns. Which is, like, nothing, right? So we got sensor trackers, uh, rangefinder on here, uh, energy accuracy. So... I'm hoping this thing does better. Um, it was kind of iffy before, but uh, uh, one of the things that we're missing between the two primary mechs was volume of shots. Cause I had like what, four weapons on there and I've got three on this guy. So it was like a total of seven weapons firing, which really isn't a lot. And if you're missing like against flyers, you want volume, right? So adding a couple more weapons on this guy, or actually three more weapons on this guy with some, you know, missile ability, I think overall will will help out. I mean, plus the MRMs on this guy, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, we are going to take this lance out today. We do have a mission I want to take, so let's just wait the one turn. Get the banner snatch back. We got our two flyers. Oop. Oh shoot. Let's uh, move you up one. Uh, yeah, like that. Wait one turn. Should be able to get the. I mean. No, the Trev's going to... Yeah, I won't be able to get it back before the end of the month. That's fine. Uh, okay, so let's go to the uh, command center. And we are going to take this five skull base defense. It's against the local government, uh, which is always a mixed bag. You never know, right? At least I think it's local uh, mixed government. Well, let's find out. We're going to take the five skull base defense. It's the planetary government, yeah. So um, we're going to go this route and see what we get. It should be a good fight. I mean, we've got the firepower, right? We should be able to hold off without too much of a problem. So let's load. I got to change this to B Lance. And apply that. So the Vulture is coming out. The Storm Crow is coming out. You are going to be running the Bandersnatch, which is up here. I mean, that shouldn't... Like the reduced uh, uh, jam chance is great for the uh, for the two uh, 
weapons, uh, the two ballistic weapons, and then we'll bring you down, Avatar. And I think we're ready to go, right? Junker, iron sides. Oh wait, Junker's not supposed to be there. Iron sides. Where are you here? Nasty, right? Because we lost our pilot. We did. Uh, let's save this. Oh, of course, you got to click here. Yes, I do have to look at the keyboard when I type. I am very old school. All right, let's go. Yeah, you say that, but we're good. Command interface initiated. All right, well, okay, this map. All right, so we got guys there and there. Oh, it does where they're right. That's the uh, okay. Yeah, my bad. All right. So at least our vehicles have a chance to get to here. Yeah, the enemy's like right there. Uh, I think we start behind the hill. I have no idea what they are, so let's just go right here. They're probably going to put a lot of damage down onto the buildings before we start, but there's nothing I can do, do about that if they go before me. All right, we got our bar gear. Fusion. So it's the MRM-30. Ooh, what do they got? Is that a... Oh my god. That's a longbow. At least I think it's a longbow. Looks like a pair of marauders in a longbow. We'll see here in a second. It'd be nice to burn the, mara the uh, longbow up and have it... Uh... Nah, you know what? I've done missile so many missile builds in the past. I'm trying to stay away from that. Marauder 2. Oh, these guys are coming with their A-games today, it looks like. Paraballistic. Marauder 3S. Longbow OW. Is that Omni? Four missiles, it could be four LRM-20s. Skipper. Alright, Boomy. Uh, wow, you can't even see anybody. I don't want to expose the longbow, though. That's the problem. And I want the turret... Okay, let's get started. Let's do this. Right? Don't be afraid. Let's get her going. Oh, that's an atlas it looks like too. So they did bring their A game. Oh, it's an SRM atlas with an AC5. Oh, that's interesting. That's a shit ton of armor though. That's a good chance to hit. That's a good chance to hit. Alright, I, I swear to God guys, at some point I will... <laughs> Fix my firing order at some point. Just not today. Let's open with the snub. ER large, large improved heavy. Whoops, where's the ER large? ER mediums can fire last. All right. Yeah, that's pretty good against this guy. He's already gone, so let's go after him. See if we can get a quick kill on this guy with everybody. Firing! All right, we open something up. Hopefully it's not an arm. Nope, leg, well. It's open for a torso, but whatever. Ah, shit, here he comes. Oh, all right. I guess he's using, uh... Ready to rock. Scatterables. Um, do we want to... I should have brought the Nidhogg. Damn, oh well. Let's continue on with the uh, Marauder. The longboat's behind the hill. We'll go over the hill in a second. I haven't decided who I'm going to bomb yet. Like, we don't know what's coming in after this, so... Jet booster's at zero. I gotta remember that. Make sure that thing is, like, checked every single time. Alright, firing. Let's see what you got. Excellent. Critical hit. All those lasers ain't going to save you if you ain't got a chance to shoot them. We may have to go up against that Marauder. That guy's a base killer. I don't know how many we got. Zero. What are your orders, Skipper? 
Need you to get up here. Try not to expose to the uh, guys in the back, Let's though. Go. They're in the way of all of our mechs, but that's fine. Ooh, do we go for a quick kill and try to hammer him with quad missiles? All I got is tandems. Let's just fire the MRMs. You got a jet booster too. Okay, so I gotta remember they both have jet boosters. The quad missiles might be better off in the back of the Atlas. Or the Marauder too. One of the two. Atlas is a little farther forward, so maybe the Marauder too. Waiting for orders. Can't get a clean shot in that Atlas. Oh, can right there, right there. Clean shot. Oh God. Okay. Well, I guess it's going to be you, and I'm not going to use you right now. Civil bullet with AP ammo. Let's see if we can get lucky. I want to use the hag. I got eight turns of firing with this, so well, let's just use it, see if we can get a kill on this guy. Yeah, there we go. Target neutralized. Run an XL, I think. Alright, we drew first blood. Yeah, you run. You run. Orders? You know what you're up against now. Okay, I got a solid line on that guy can't, but I can shoot that guy. Do I want to shoot that guy? How hot is this longbow? Not hot at all. So LRM 20s and 5s. He's LRM 50 build with no armor. So it's a basic longbow, pretty much. Maybe the OW stands for Old World. <laughs> um. Ah, oh boy. You know what? I'm gonna go in the trees. Understood. Moving fast. I'm gonna go out to the longbow. I think the longbow's gotta be a mech kill. Let's go with Apollo ammo. <clears throat> yeah, it's gotta be a mech kill. Yeah, we're already heating up here because of the two diverse optics, but that's fine. Copy that. Because I can't spend a lot of time on this guy. I don't want to be using up my flyers on him. All right, not bad. Good to go. What can you do? Let's see. Let's see what can be done here. Precision ammo. Out of range. In range. I think I want to save my precision though. I got three AP, but a fair bit of standard. A little bit of incendiary. Let's go this route. Just out of range for this, eh? That's fine. Let's hammer him. Oh, we landed one anyway. He's open. Tag's on. Scored. A critical hit. He's gonna have a bad day next turn. Okay, he goes on 13. That should give us our turrets. Thank you. Stay out of their way. What do we got for turrets? That was my guy. I was going to say, wow, he's got the same loadout, <laughs> same loadout as my Savage Wolf. Nice. Yes. Alright, one more. Once this round's over, they get reinforcements. So I got to be over the hill here. Because I have a feeling they're going to come from over there or from behind us. Yeah, what's the turret got? Hardened LRM emplacement with 60s. A pair of AC-20s, that'll help with the Atlas. Yeah, you run. <laughs> He's like, fuck this shit. No, 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 no. I gotta wait for our reinforcements to arrive. Sniper turret with a pair of PPCs. And where's the last turret? It's over here. Heavy AC with four AC-2s. Okay. Orders. You need... A 
I seriously have to worry about where the reinforcements are coming from. Let's get in the base. On the move, full speed. Might provide a little bit of protection if people show up kind of to our left, like over here. Oh, Hag is the best chance. Cluster could mid misfire. I think I want that at the top though, don't I? And the hag at the bottom? Right? So cluster... 20% chance to misfire within cluster mode. And do I have... Oh, I got Warlord. That doesn't help. Alright, well, let's just try and take a shot at this guy. Locking on. All right, a little bit of AP, but not much. Uh, yep. All right, let's go fuck these guys up. Let's see if we can kill this marauder. Right, let's move. I think he's hidden from the AC turret, so the AC turret shouldn't be shooting over here. I think I'm in a good, I'm in an okay spot here. And I'm going to go quad missiles. We're going to try and get a quick kill in this guy. I need these guys gone. Because if the enemies come from behind me, I don't want to be fighting these guys as well. So let's do this. I got you. Fuck. Really? Tango is trash, Skipper. My short range missiles are out. Confirmed. You see what I mean, though, when I say, like, what's the- why? Why would you even consider having mechs? Like, what would- Like, yeah, okay, you know, in certain circumstances, like I said, on moons or, like, no atmosphere or low atmosphere planets, sure, I get it, but, like, honestly, what- what would possess you to even think about it? For the Fire. amount of money that you would spend on a mech- Yeah, I'm liking the loadout on this better now. The amount of money you would spend on a mech, it just doesn't seem, like, economically viable to be like... I'm gonna put you here. But like I said, I have no idea where the enemies are coming in. You can't shoot at anybody, so let's just get down there. Ooh, both hit. All the twos hit. Commander. Get over the hill. That's fine. I copy. This guy may be of limited use in the upcoming fight here. All right, we're pretty much protected. Ready to rock. You know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? It's time to get nasty on that some bitch. All right, we're just gonna use the SRMs. Save the bombs. We've already got a full atlas we can build, so I'm not really interested in atlas parts. Yeah, he's got a lot of armor gone already, so let's open them up here. Here comes the LRMs. Oh, this could kill him. Maybe not. Maybe knock him down? Yep, there you go. Holy shit, he's got 10 health. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. He's got 10 health. I've got eyes on hostile. Of course you do. It sounds like they just dropped behind us. Okay. We know they're here. They're all here. Okay. King Crab. Thunderbolt. Shirako. Fuck, our base could just be dead right now. It could just quickly die. Ready for orders. There's an avatar over there too. Oh man. They outgunned me by a lot. Annihilator. Shirako, that's the four-legged guy. Archer 2R Morgan. Clan LRMs. Okay. 
E version with heavy light and X pulses. Wow, light AC2. Annihilator. Well, yeah, they came with their A game. A pair of silver bullet gosses and the king crab. The five P's got what? Rotary 2, pirate. M MRM 30. And a thumper. With lots of armor. LRM carrier. Oh my god. Okay, well. I can't, like... I'm shooting right past the avatar. I can't do that. Oh, I gotta expose to minimum that. number of Hold guys at right. a time. We're not killing all these guys, but I'm gonna leave the Atlas to the turrets, and I'm bringing my flyers back. Ready for orders. Yeah, it's like exposing to everybody. Are they going to target me or the base? So that's the question. Yeah, like I have to move in. Oh, God. I want a piece of that Annihilator, but... Oh, he's going on 15, eh? What turn is it? 20? Let's just reserve it. We're ahead of him so we can get away from him here. I don't know if he's going to shoot me of the buildings. Here comes Captain Morgan. Okay, he's going to turret. It's all AC2, so it's not such a big deal. Well, that might make him easier to hit. Fuck. Thank God the buildings have got a lot of hit points. So they can kill four build... They have to kill five buildings to win. Which they've got the firepower for. Nice. Chew them up, buddy. Chew them up. Yes. Vehicles are actually being helpful. Helpful. Vehicles are helpful. for them to move in. All right, let's wait. Waiting for the right move. It's going to tank our initiative next turn, but I can't. Ugh, my back is so exposed here. That annihilator could fucking kill me. I got at least I go before him. That Soraka goes before us though. Yeah, shoot him up. Shoot him up. What are my flyers? 15 and 14. I'm gonna try to engage that king crab, I think. Look at this guy. There goes the turret. Did he hit the annihilator, though? Oh, I mean... No, I don't think he did. I don't think he did. What are your orders, Skipper? Receiving you. Can you not have your back to them? All right, that's pretty good because that no one else can see me. Acknowledged. We'll move there. And we're going with everything on this annihilator. I want him gone. I want him gone. Um, a lot of armor, but let's do it. Let's start. He hasn't gone yet, but at least that'll draw his attention. Confirmed. Roger that, Commander. Yeah, it's not the best chances to hit, Copy but... That. 
Let's get on him. Let's get started on him. Here he comes. Spitting fire. It's the instability you gotta worry about. Alright, not bad. Oh, he's using Inferno. That's what you gotta worry about. Watch my heat. That's what you gotta worry about. Hey, uh, yup. Let's get the AMS back over here to protect this base. And... Yep. Stand four. Yeah, we had to fly out there to kill that, uh, to kill those guys. I, I don't regret that, but I might by the end of this battle. <laughs> we'll see what happens here. Let's go after this guy with the tandem, keeping the infernos till we can get close. I'm on him. Okay, it looks like he's uh, got through armor critical immune. It. Look at this spread damage. I'm catching some serious shit here, Commander. Yeah, you think? Light PPC plus compa- oh, arrow four. That's why. Skipper? I was like, where did that damage come from? It's from the arrow. Okay, let's get up here. I'm going after the Annihilator. We got a couple buildings in some serious trouble here already. These guys are going to go after the King Crab right after this. Alright, just shoot this guy. Here we go. Stripping armor is about all we can do. Alright, let's see what we can do with these guys now. I got to close. Yep, let's do it. Roger. I know the Annihilator is not the biggest threat, but he's actually the closest guy and the slowest and easiest to hit, so if we can s kill him, On it. then at least we don't have to worry about uh, this guy being too close. Give us a bit more room to maneuver. Okay, he's unstable. PPC turret. Oh yeah, landing some nice shots. <laughs> How's your day going, buddy? You get to deal with the AC-20 turret. It's in range. On Spread out just way. a little Double bit. Time. Horace is going to have to push these guys, I think. We've got no choice, really. All right, let's switch to precision. And it didn't even give us any bonuses. It, really? It's still... What? How does that work? What am I missing? I want to go AP. Yeah, AP's, AP's great against vehicles, but... Well, if the precision's not going to help me, I might as well just shoot standard for now. Firing on target. I right, landed one. All the lasers hit. All right, that'll help. Come on. Here goes one side. And a knockdown. Oh! <laughs> I thought the turrets could take care of him. That AC-20 turret can't shoot at anybody else, so... Sure. So we got you on 19. Oh, we've got 25 here. Nice. Oh, we're on 24. Really? Yes, finish him off. That should do it, I think. 
Nope. Good damage, though. And the knockdown. Their turrets will probably finish him up, so I don't have to touch him. Commander. I have to say, could you imagine showing up in a battle, getting off one salvo, and then just being murdered? Like, it's just brutal. Uh, I don't want to push too far. So let's just pull into the trees. I don't get much evasion, but the trees will reduce the damage against us. And we'll just hammer this guy with everything. I'm going to save the light AA racks so we can get a better shot off. At least torso's open. Oh, man. Target's taken a critical hit. He's not surviving this turn, I don't think. Once the silver bullet gets on that guy, he's fried. And we all go before him, so... Although, this guy's unstable. See ya. You brought mechs to a vehicle fight. Okay, we're gonna bomb the shit out of that uh, king crab. Not for going off. Nope, not for not doing anything. But he did decide to pull into range, so that, uh, like at least all our bombs can uh, confirmed get nasty on him. Uh, let's hold off. Standing by. On you. You've got range, so you don't need to close. Let's just get up on this hill. Ah, uh, shit, the turret's like right behind me. Wait, is this the LRM turret? It is, so it just shoots over me. And we'll target this guy. Let's see if we can finish him up here. Uh, I'm gonna keep keep on with the cluster. There goes the torso. Wow, he had a lot of battle computer hit. stuff. There's the knockdown. There's the knockdown. I guess the guy in the uh, Atlas is the commander because he's got 10 health, whereas that guy's only got three. One of Fuck. our structures has been eliminated. There's not much I can do about that. Although maybe we. Mm, where's that vehicle? Ready to rock. Okay. I'm going to do this first. Right to here. Roger, Skipper. Kicking it. Okay, let's hope we kill this guy. Or at least make him completely immobile. So we're going to do that. I'm going to Vigilance. Because I want to see if I can get ahead of this guy next turn and try and kill him next turn as well. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna drop everything. Well, this looks bad for you. Critical hit. Reporting multiple weapons with no ammo. That's all right. We're shutting them down here in a second. Bomb spread's really nice too. The mines, nice and clustered. This guy's fucking dangerous though. Yeah. I can't, I don't know how, how do we get ahead of head hit? I don't know. Losing armor. Yep. Nobody said they got hit in the meat, so it must be alright. Ooh, that gives an atlas a shot at my back. But that doesn't. I'm gonna pull back to here. Okay, let's see what we can do heat-wise and see if we can finish this guy off. So I can just drop... I gotta drop a lot more than that. That should do it. That'll duck me under. Uh, maybe we drop... That's 30 heat. Like, if I drop... It gives us more of a chance to actually connect. Let's go this route. Although that's more heat than that is. Okay, 
do that. We go. Nice. Just enough to push him over the edge. Okay, our other flyer goes on 15. Ugh. All right, iron sights. Nope. Ooh, can we get a back shot? There's a good question. We can. Copy that. I'll save the infernal mines. I mean, we can drop them over here next turn, maybe, but we'll just hit this guy. And we have enough vigilance to get ahead of them. So we'll do that, because I don't think we're going to get a kill here. But we might overheat him enough. Affirmative. Ooh, okay. Reporting. Critical hit. My flamer's empty. Thermal mass or some shit like that he's got. Standing by. Okay. Aye, aye. I don't want to be in the water. But now we can switch back to precision. Yeah. I don't know why it wouldn't work on the, uh... Annihilator. Something I'm missing about the ammo that, uh... I don't know. I don't know why it wouldn't work. Anyway, let's hammer this guy. Yes! Opened him up. Atlas is taking a pounding. So if that Annihilator, the guy bailed, we may be able to pick up an entire Annihilator. Ugh. Their firepower is dwindling though, so it's not that much of a threat anymore. I mean, they can still take down the buildings, but... Well, I guess the, uh... Damage is minor, Commander. The flight evasion was for my advantage. Wow, that guy just took two AC-20 hits and he's still going. Yeah, he's running now. It's like, fuck that. Oh, he's still fighting, too. All right, head hit. Nice. Reporting. Serious armor loss. They shot us too, did they? Um. What? Oh, he was trying to shoot me and he shot his own guy in the back. Man, our AMSs are just not... It's just not happening today. Just not happening. Yeah, we had the firepower for this one. I was concerned when I saw the uh, Marauder 2 and the Atlas, but... And then when I saw these guys drop, I'm like, ah, how are we going to do this? But... It's working out. I mean, our, I mean, our pilots are good. They're not, like, amazing pilots, but they're good pilots. So... That's a huge bonus. I think you need to take it up to tailpipe next turn. Although I don't, I think we got too much momentum. We may have to go a little farther. So it might not be that guy next turn. Yes, unstable. I like them MRM thirties, baby. I don't think he likes it very much. All right. Who's next? Oh, Avatar. Okay, he gets to drop his instability. There goes a building. 
Oh, really? Really? Oh, it's the next turn. Oh, yes, and of course their initiative just all of a sudden gets ahead of all of us. Like, all of them. Even this guy with, like, nothing left. He's still faster than us. I may have to fly over there and kill him. Hmm. They're doing some work. Ah, man. I get, all I need to do is kill three more buildings. Confirm. Nope. Yep. It's thunderbolt. It's terrible. He's gotta go. I mean, they're all bad, but... Fuck this guy in particular. Firing. That's not a lot. Orders. Nope, just a little more forward. There we go. We'll come back and hit this king crab next turn. Although I probably should shoot... Where is he? This guy. Yeah. This guy's doing a lot of damage. I'm gonna drop the bombs too, because why not? He's gone. Target down. He's gone. Orders. That one is gone. Can I get out of the water? I cannot. Uh, that's pretty good. <laughs> I'll take the 96% with the ACs. I'm probably going to jam here. Actually, do I have... I don't think it's up yet. No, one more turn. One more turn. Hopefully we're not jammed by then. But let's hammer this guy. See ya. It's go time. Bandersnatch, finally coming into its own. Come on, kill him. There we go. Nice. Still able to be seen by the peeps. Beautiful. I'm standing in flames, right? Yeah. I just want to close, I think. Let's just close. Heading out. Missile rack still pretty low. I'm gonna put it on now. You know, it's only gonna fire if it's gonna hit, so. Roger that. Yeah, see, I don't know. That hit something good. This thing gets good crits, but yes, the damage it. output is really low. Same thing, we'll move down here. I'm gonna try and get into the water next turn to drop some of this heat, but we're gonna fire everything at this guy. Throw this on. Yeah, we're hot, but I'm okay with that. Uh, Apollo... Yeah, we're good. Okay, he's unsteady. Buma, he's unsteady. I got you. I think we can shoot past the, uh... So with this avatar, I gotta try and shield as much as I can with my left side. Just, it's just because of the heat and everything, right? And the medium lasers are on the other side, so... I don't really care about them. Can we sneak it under? Yep, let's put the big ones into them. Here we go. I got you. Okay, a little bit. Little bit. Yeah, see, even he's got evasion somehow. And they just keep getting faster. That thumper, why, I mean, I don't understand why it only fires once and then just stops. Like, it seems like all of the artillery 
fires once and then it just does nothing. It just sits there and does nothing. I mean, these guys don't have the juice to take them down the buildings anymore, but still, it's like that thumper could have been firing like the last two turns could have fired at the buildings. Hey, what are you doing? You're backing up. You gonna let me kill these guys? Probably. Oh, he's taking a shot at him. Okay. Get through the armor somewhere. Destroying double heat sinks. Destroy as much as you want. I don't want the quad mech. Sure. You keep using that arrow. Receiving you. Into the water. Let's cool off a little bit. Should be able to drop a little bit. Oh, all the heat. There you go. <laughs> Let's just hammer this guy. He's open in the one torso. Of course, most of the stuff will hit the other torsos. Ultra 10 destroyed. Knocked down. Have a seat, buddy. Oh, shut up. You're losing armor left and right. Got lots of armor. You. you have way more armor than we've had in the past. I don't know why he's complaining. I'm losing armor. We're all losing armor, move. buddy. You're no exception. I'll ah, take this off now. We don't need it on this guy. Go for the torso. I don't know. I don't think he's XL, but I can clear off one side anyway. I think I hit something good. See now, theoretically, for a quad mech. We've cleared his left side, so his left leg, left front, and left back leg are gone. He should not be able to stand. What's up, boss? That's why I always found quad mechs confusing, because they don't just really, they don't apply well to the New rules of, of Battletech. Right? Because it's like, it just there's no way he should be able to stand anymore. Um, let's drop our recoil. Wait, we don't have recoil. What the hell am I talking about? Uh... Yeah, see, why is it all of a sudden doesn't change? Is it because he's in trees, maybe? I don't know. Whatever. Let's just give it to him. He's got a pair of Ultra 10s, eh? I think I hit something good. I'm black on AC-20 ammo. My ammo's gone. Double time. My Let's ammo's go. gone. Stop complaining. At least you're still alive. Alright, finally dropping some heat. Let's try to clear up this guy's torso. Critical hit. So now he's got one leg. Sorry, now he has no legs because he's just Confirmed. bailed out. My jet booster okay. I think I... It's at 13. Let's turn it off. Because, you know, you know me. Come on, calculate that shit. I can't get a back shot. Does it matter though? Like how much damage has he taken? He's taken a lot of damage to his left side. Right side. My left, you're right. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you guys know me. It's always gonna be the opposite side from what I'm saying. All right, we'll take a shot at this guy like, the, like this. I was hoping for the back strike, but we might be able to clear up his one side here with this, uh, this strike. I'm on him. All right, we got to continue on with the next Critical unit hit. then. Orders. And you, let's turn your booster off, so I don't forget. Come on, buddy, do the math. Do the math, chief. Do the math, chief. One less target. Yeah, I'll get around that way. Put our front facing the enemy if we can. 
I know we're close together, but that's fine. Ah, let's hammer this guy. I wish I had more than just tandem, but whatever. Yeah. Somebody was running XL. Target down. Now he's drowning. Now he's drowning. Went cockpit first into the water. Medium heavy laser destroyed. It's just, so it's just the thumper and this guy left. I didn't think we were going to kill everybody, but we still got three rounds left. I did not think we were going to do it. We're on round eight. I mean, I will say, though, we had two good vehicles that actually participated. Our turrets were accurate. So we had a... Thanks for that. We had a lot of help. If we didn't have the turrets or the vehicles, it was going to be a different story for sure. Different story for sure. Confirm. All right, I need you to get nasty on this some bitch, if you don't mind. That guy should be nice and warm. Well, maybe not. 77 still a good chance to hit. Let's take it. Critical hit. Gyro crit. Yep. This guy's got a lot of armor. If I remember correctly, he does. 94 on the side, though, so let's... Uh, no, you know what? Let's kill the mech first. Like that. You got it. He's gonna... The vehicle's gonna shoot us with machine guns, but not much we can do about it. Alright, he's done. Enemy eliminate. Confirmed. All right, Boomer, you will not be able to get a shot at that guy, but let's sprint. We got turn two turns, and I want this guy dead. All right, let's move. I don't think he'll be able to get a shot at him, but... Um, Boomer's going to steal the Vigilance, because he's an ass. He's going to try to get ahead of the Flyers next turn. Orders. It's just how he rolls. It won't matter, though. <laughs> It won't matter. Moving fast. I, I think I'm going to change this back to standard. We'll try and pen him first. And then follow up with everything else. This should probably do it here. Him everything I've got. Yeah. No. Ooh, it didn't. We did pen him, though. Oh, I see. The through armor crit, right? Because of the AP Goss. Standing by. Um, full speed. Try to boomer block. Confirmed. Okay, boomer. Whatever. Well, that was a good mission. Waiting for orders. I'm actually really, pl I'm pleasantly surprised at how well it turned out. Pleasantly surprised. That, I mean, they had pretty heavy ordnance, and like I said, if they weren't shooting for buildings, if it was just a face-off between them and me, they would have ended up completely different, I think. We would have been shredded. I mean, we probably still could have pulled it off, depending on where we were. Oh, Boomer, you kill thief. Probably still could have pulled it off. But we would have taken a lot of damage in the process, for sure. And I would have had to selectively choose the uh, flyers we're going to try and kill. I have to say, I'm very pleasantly surprised with how that turned out. The locals definitely came with their A game, and they had a lot of good mechs at uh, Five Skulls, so that was pretty good. So, we got four or three kills for the Avatar. Well, two bailouts. So that's pretty good. Banish Snatch got a kill. So there is... I mean, we do have Atlas parts. Only one part, or two two parts of an Annihilator. Oh, well, what do you know? And there's the full King Crab, too. What do you have? Two Ballistic, two Laser, 
one missile. But this guy's like eight ballistic, four laser, no missile. I don't know. Let's just take that guy. 60 ton carrier, three LRM 20s. Rotters all there. Thumper. We've already got like Thumper mechs and stuff. Arrow 4 Pirate. What's the difference? Minus 5 accuracy. Recall of 1. Variable damage. Hard to shoot down with AMS. 200 damage per shot loaded when destroyed. So what's the difference really? The weight? Is it the weight? Artillery mode? 16, 20. Because aren't arrows like 14 tons? Maybe it's got a shorter range? I don't know. It's hard to tell. Uh, let's see. Medium X pulse. Pirate Silver Bullet Goss, we've already got one. Era 24, Battle Computer Energy and Heat. We've already picked up one of these guys, although that might be useful. I'm gonna drop it temporarily. See what else we got here. Cool shot, minus six heat per turn. Okay. Distill. Increase resolve, but minus initiative. Well, that's interesting. Uh, double plus exchanger. Let's drop that in. We've already got a bunch of these. Land fire control system. Predator. Don't have any. These are nice for long range builds. Is it better than the battle computer energy though? Hardened support. Heat bank double plus. Minus eight heat per turn. Uh... Jump Booster Pack 3. Who's the, who, who is the jump capable guy? Interesting. Prototype Double Heat Sinks. We're out of those. You know what? I think that's going to be it. So do we want the Battle Computer Energy over the Predator? I mean, it's not very often we use... Ooh, bonus energy range, too. Oh, that's fire control system, though. If that was sensors, that'd be great. Hmm. I'm gonna do that. Am I? I think so. I grab the Predator. I think if we're doing an Annihilator build, it's going to be slow. So we're going to want to shoot from range. And if we're doing Ballistic, uh, I don't really have good accuracy for Ballistic. So I don't know. We'll see how that pans out. Yeah, good enough. Let's go this route and see what we get. That was a good, uh, good, good match, though. So we got an Archer part, which I don't know... Yeah, we don't. I think I built the archer and got rid of it. King crab part, longbow, medium lasers can go. Machine guns. Can, okay, we got crap here. C three slave. We got five, so I can trash that. We got one command unit, so we don't need that. Coolant flush. Maybe. Let's hang on to both of those. We definitely keep that. Scatter. Scatter of missed indirect fire shots by mi minimum minus 25%, maximum minus 50%. Eh. I'll hold on. I mean, I don't think I'll ever use it, but we'll hold on to it anyway. Double heat sinks we'll hold on to. You can go. Let's hang on to this, because I don't know how many uh, ACs are going to be left in that Annihilator. Well, that actually turned out really well. <laughs> like, almost no damage at all. So, who do we have that... They all got... No, they didn't all get damaged. 
Who didn't get damaged then? The Bandersnatch didn't even get shot at and it's got a pair of... Really? Sure, whatever. I'm going to put these guys at the end though. Uh, simply because... Um, well, they're all back in three days, so it doesn't really matter where they go. Because I want to bring my other lance in before anything, but it's all going to be three days anyway, so it won't matter. Yeah, so that Annihilator... Um, Let me think about this. So, oh, what's up with you? Why did you not get, uh, what is it? What? Why did you, um, sure, whatever. It's probably like a component, like a leg or something like that. Actuator or something gone. Um, I wonder if I should just drop the third lance and work on assembling an assault, like uh, like my assaults. Because we have an annihilator here. We've got a full atlas here. You know, it's a good possibility. So what do you have? One ballistic, four laser, two missile. One, six, and two. So that might be the better one to put together. Although we're not going to get as much back, I don't think. Limb repair, 56. 56, 73. It's the same, it says. And then Annihilator. So the E is what? 8 laser. It's all energy. Let's grab... Let's. So if I ready this... I mean, we're okay for... We're, we're, we're making good sea bills. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. So let's bring you forward. Maybe we'll take the, the light... Or the, the third lance out for one more spin. And then we'll store them. And then we'll assemble you. Just looking at hard points for these guys. Alright, well, let's see what we got here. Alright. So, the Atlas first. We've had this guy for so long, but did nothing with it. Yeah, it didn't come back with much. I didn't expect it to come back with much. Oh, not too bad. Goss, ammo. What do we get out of this? The core stayed intact. Which is nice. So you're... Lasers in the arms. Ballistic. Okay, so it's not too bad. Plus one accuracy for, for a punch melee attack. Sure. Who the fuck's going to close the battle master? I don't know. Or a, uh, sorry, a, um, an atlas, I have no idea. And why you would put less on the torsos and more on the legs, I, I guess, I don't know. We'll figure out the armor situation, but what, what do we have here? 45 tons. We got plenty of weight for stuff. Alright, so that's 17 days and 800,000. Let's get that started. We're going to do it, we're going to do it. Let's just get it done. We gotta run them at least once or twice before the end of the series. So, let's bring you forward. Let's see what you got. So you had the fire control system advanced. Light Feral looks like it stayed. Come on. There we go. So we didn't. We got one light AC two, three light AC twos. How much do you weigh? Four tons. So the core was intact. It's a 200 core, really. It's a 2-3 movement. Compact gyro. Alright. Um, I think immediately we need to add a, at least a 250 core to this. So we don't have to add heat sinks. But it's 2-2-2-2. Two, 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 
That's a lot of AC. Like, why would you carry that much AC2 ammo? Are these, like, rapid fire? No, it's just one shot. So there's, like, 30 shots here. Unless this... No. Is that where all the ammo was? Yeah, that's all the ammo. Okay, that makes sense. You need one ton per two ACs. For 15 turns of firing. And then it had one extra ton of ammo. Although I thought it had heat. Didn't it have... How was it doing... Doesn't say. How did they do... How did it do heat damage to me? Like it increased my heat by a whole shit ton, but... It doesn't say... Like he's not carrying any incendiary ammo. Like, I don't understand how I took heat increase. I, I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe a mistake? I don't know. Who knows? Oh, I know who knows. The Shadow knows. Uh, let's go and grab a 250 core first before we do anything. I mean, this guy's just going to be a slow stand there and shoot anyway. So we might as well grab... Something that we don't have to add additional heat sinks to. And let's um, strip this. So the light AC2s, I don't know. I might keep them on here. But at like oops, at 12 tons for three of them. For like like the damage is like 20 points. So it's 60 60 damage for 12 tons. I mean, it's a good, got a pretty good range, but 60 damage for 12 tons. This is like an AC-10. Oh, we got the, we got the, uh, the Mydrin, regular AC-20s, regular AC-10s. Got an Ultra-10, Ultra-20. Although ammo's going to be the issue with a lot of it. But this guy is like, we got, we got you know, we could do a light Goss build too. Could do a light Goss build with this guy. Maybe I sw switch it out between... Oh, we ha also have this. It's torso only. We could change this to the, go the Goss build and change the Savage Wolf out. I think that's a probably a good idea. I mean, we'll have to do it later on, but, you know, we could put a sniper... Well, I can't, because we don't have hands. Never mind. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're over, but that's not including... Like, if we wanted to go this way. You know, then we got room for ammo. I don't think we need the compact gyro. We could go with... Um, I think we've got an XL. We've got a double XL in here too. Like if we don't plan on getting shot at. Compact engine. If I pull that... Yeah. We could do that. See, it's already getting pricey, but it's not too bad. Like, we're not going to be moving at all. I mean, we could go to a 300 core, too, and get 3-5 three, three movement. That's 84. And then... And then, we can come up here. I'm just interested to see what the price will be if I do this. Yeah, 6 million. It's already 1.6. What's the light? Probably like another 2 million on top of that. Yeah. How much should we gain there? 5 tons? Yeah. 
you know what's the range of this guy 720 so we would need so light ghost ammo is how many rounds 16 so we would put one in each arm I mean, are we going to need more than 16 turns of firing? Or are we going to need more than 8 turns? I guess the question is. If I had a half ton, I would be using that. Heavy Gauss ammo. Oh, I don't have any slots left. It's the Heavy Pharaoh. It gives me a handful of slots. Like our heat is negligible too, right? It's like nothing. Um, we don't have Clan Pharaoh, do we? I mean, shit, we could put a spawn line on here instead. Nah, because I want to try and sneak in another... Um, I want to try and sneak in another Goss Rifle. That's my goal, is to have four Gosses on here if we can do it. But I don't know what it would be. So let's grab the heavy gauss ammo just for sake of argument here, just so that we've got it in here. I need to find Clan Pharaoh to cut this in half so we'd have more room to drop another gauss rifle in. And we've got, yeah, so if we could find a 12 ton gauss rifle and one ton of ammo, that's eight shots for one ton. Like a clan Gauss rifle would be perfect. Like that. We need three more slots, which means we need clan endo. Which I can pull off something. Oh man, that's um I'm kinda liking that. I mean we could change rather than having the light goss in here, we could put like these are just shorter range. These guys ignore evasion for 55 damage and a little bit more range. But it's rare that we're out, we're ever firing, like, we're, like, it's rare that we're ever at that kind of range, you know? So we could go this route. Um, I'll let you guys... Let me know what you want, what you think I should do in the in the comments section below. So I mean, we would go with like a double is what? How many? It's twenty shots. So we could leave out. Uh, see the problem with the like, double bins are kind of nice, but if they get crit and destroyed, then you've lost all your ammo for all your weapons, right? Which is why I kind of like having individual tons. Whereas if you lose one ton of Gauss ammo, you've still got another ton somewhere else. And this guy could become a, uh, I was going to say a Godzilla, but it's an Annihilator, so. Um, wait, isn't that, yeah, the Annihilator, isn't that the Godzilla? Right? Am I not, am I wrong? Right, yeah, it's, this is the Godzilla, right? We could totally make that. I think this thing's fucking crazy. We could totally do that. Okay. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. It's going to become the Godzilla. And I need to figure out how we're going to do it. Uh, so let's just actually get it repairing. We'll strip all the stuff off it. I'll swap the core out. So let's strip the gear. Repair it all put the 300 core in. I think it needs if it's going to be a Godzilla though, does it need any more than like a 250? I don't think it does. To be like quite honest. Are we going to need the extra little bit of speed if it's just going to be shooting people from a long range? That's 15 and a half. 
And what are you? You're 22. That's going to give us four Gauss rifles if I go that route. Like the heavy Gauss and three Gauss rifles. We strip the armor off the legs, put it on the up on the torsos up here. Increase the back armor a little bit, the CT armor. Yeah, man. Yep, we're going to go that route. This would have been nice if we had... Uh, if we got more of those light or the light to AC2s, but yeah, let's go this route. Let's validate this, get this started. I'm interested to see how this is going to play out. So we're going to have to focus on getting C bills for the next little while. I don't know how. I mean, finding quick sell stuff has been tough. We'll probably pull off a couple more missions here. I'm going to go back to the Marion uh, hegemony and uh, hegemony, and then we're going to see how much more quick sell gear we can get. I'm pretty happy with the Lance as it is. I'm actually kind of shocked we got up to 75 tons. But as far as this episode goes, I'm going to end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did drop a like, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And please drop your comments in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think about that uh, the Godzilla build. And until next time, we'll see you later.